Well, the very first class included Dr. John Osman, who was a Purdue entomologist, and he was my mentor when I was first hired at Purdue. And uh, so I didn't actually take any classes for him because I'd already finished up with my uh, degree. But he was my, he hired me and he was my first boss. And uh, the second class included Bill Brem of uh, BNG Equipment Hall, in, Hall of Fame. And uh, Bill was the B part of BNG Sprayers, Bill Brem. Uh, the third class included Norm Amon, who was well known as a, one of the industry, industry distributors uh, with Univar. Uh, the fourth class included Harry Katz, who passed away just recently, uh, at the ripe old age of about 98 or 99. Uh, the next class uh, included uh, Vern Walter, who was a Purdue grad and uh, did many of the talks at conferences around the country and was just a well-renowned entomologist. Austin Frischman and Bob and Judy Dole were in the next class, so uh, as well as Lee Truman, who uh, was originally the uh, senior author for Scientific Guide to Rest Control Operations. Uh, the next class included Dr. Ralph Heal, who was the longtime original um, technical director at NPMA. Uh, and the next class followed Dr. Phil Spear, who was uh, uh, a technical director uh, at NPMA as well. Ralph Hill really, I think, was like the CEO, executive director, and Phil Spear was more the technical director. Uh, the original ones from uh, uh, from uh, uh, NPMA. Uh, the next class, oh, and Jerry Mix was in that class, huh. by the way, who was uh, a, a former publisher and, and senior editor for Pest Management Magazine. Uh, the next class included uh, uh, Jim Steckel, who was uh, a president of, of NPMA and a uh, longtime industry uh, stalwart. Uh, I've got some guy by the name of Bennett who's in the next class. And uh, the, the next class included one of my colleagues from the West Coast, Dr. Michael Rust, who was a, a, a very fine urban entomologist from the University of California. And then we get into the next class, which included Bobby Corrigan, who was one of the first students that I had when I came to Purdue. So Bobby came here from Austin Frischman's program in New York State and got his master's and PhD degrees with me here at Purdue. Uh, the next class in included, uh, I think, our first foreign uh, member, uh, Moto Hirao uh, from Japan, and uh, uh, a gentleman that I've known for many, many, many years and have uh, traveled with him in Japan and, give him speeches oh, yeah. in Japan that he translated into Japanese for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, then my old major professors in the next class, Dr. Charles Wright, who's from North Carolina State. And uh, so I was very honored to see him inducted into the Hall of Fame. Uh, the next class uh, included several uh, really well-known gentlemen in the pest management industry, Vic Hamill, uh, Bill Blassingame and Ed Scherzinger. So they were uh, really good friends of mine over the, the years. The following class included a couple of my colleagues, uh, uh, Mike Potter from Kentucky and Roger Gold from Texas A&M, and then the original publisher and editor of S Control Magazine, Jim Nelson. Uh, the following class included uh, someone who has done a lot of writing for uh, PMP Magazine, Stoy Hedges, as well as uh, uh, the technical director in PMA, um, Greg Bauman, and uh, the, uh, the president of Orkin, uh, Gary Rollins. Uh, the next class included uh, Bob Rosenberg, who is, uh, uh, has recently retired from PMA as the leader of their Regulatory Affairs uh, Committee, 
and has done a lot of work on behalf of, of uh, the industry. Uh, the next class uh, included another NPMA guy, Gene Harrington, and another one of my colleagues from the University of California, uh, Don Ryerson. And the next class included more of my colleagues, Phil Hammond from the University of Florida and Laurel Hansen from um, uh, the University of uh, Spokane, and John Cook, who was a really strong advocate for the industry for many, many years. And then this year's class, which included uh, uh, another colleague from the University of California, Dr. Bernard Lewis, as well as three gentlemen who really served the industry well, Dick Samet, Vern Toblin, and Larry Trelevin. 